hello candidates uh, in this video i propose to tell you about static gk more especially uh, initially about abbreviations so what is the expansion for the abbreviation ad in terms of banking most of you will know it is what authorized dealer who is an authorized dealer authorized dealer is a bank or a company that has been permitted by a reserve bank of india to do foreign exchange business by reserve bank of india to do foreign exchange business they buy foreign exchange they sell foreign exchange okay good jay shri firoz good good afternoon are you able to hear me are you able to hear me sound wise okay because i'm not sure about it uh, is the sound okay please uh, is the sound okay jay shri firoz firoz yes sir good very nice now let me come to the next one um, what is the expansion very easy ones what is the expansion of adb adb please write what is the expansion of adb adb expansion what is the expansion of adb so talking about that that is adb means what have you written jay shri asian development bank asian development bank now is about that a few points uh, when was it established mr firoz when was it established it was established on date is not required year must be known year must be known when was it established i will give you choice 1956 1976 1966 so when was it started the year 19 what you don't want to guess no problem the answer is established on 19th december 1966 and uh, where is the <coughs> headquarters of asian development bank where is the headquarters of asian development bank correct manila in philippines good that's really good now uh, how many members are there in adb how many members or there in adb initially when it was started it had 31 members right now um, it has how many members the bank admits the members of the united nations economics and social commission for asia and pacific un escap formerly economic commission for asia and the far east and non regional developed countries from 31 members now it has 68 excellent good it has 68 member very happy okay any other points i would uh, i have to tell you about that let me go through uh, who is the president of who is the president of um adb from 17th january 2020 masar sugu asakawa masar sugu masar sugu asakawa is the president from it is given from 17th january 2020 headquarters we already saw what is the purpose of adb purpose of adb is social and economic development social and economic development okay 
any other point regarding asian development bank uh right now its chairman chairman is uh, takakiko nakao nakao is the present president he will retire on 2020 and one incident point is all of them are from japan all of them are japanese okay fine focus areas 80% of asian development lending is concentrated public sector lending in five operational areas one education two environment climate change disaster risk management then finance sector development infrastructure a regional cooperation integration then private sector lending so these are the points given about uh, the objectives of uh, asian development bank then five largest borrowing country which country borrows more from asian development bank obviously it is china china is the maximum borrower followed by india india is also borrowing more next comes pakistan so these are the points the 20 largest countries and regions by subscribed capital and voting power at asian development bank first is japan first is japan followed by united states china and india and india yeah this is what is given first contribution is japan fifth it has got voting power of 12 uh, percentage wise 15.67 united states also 15.56 but uh, uh, japan has got 15.67 this has got 15.567 and china has got 6.473 india has got 6.359 this much detail is not required you just remember major contributor of capital is japan second followed by united states third china fourth is india is that okay good now we will come to the next point what is the expansion of amfi what is the expansion of amfi what is the expansion of amfi association of mutual funds in india is the expansion for that association of mutual funds in india um, is dedicated to develop i am giving the link for that association of mutual funds in india yeah good so what are the points we can see about that amfi uh, the association of sebi registered mutual funds in india of all the registered asset management companies was incorporated on it was incorporated on august 22 1995 just information august 22 1995 and remember it is a non profit organization as of now all the 42 as of now all the 42 asset management companies that are registered with sebi or its members okay that's good next is yeah so this is what it is association of mutual you know what is a mutual fund mutual fund you, i think you must be knowing what is a mutual fund what is a mutual fund mutual fund you know um it's a concept by which uh, 
people join together um, what is a mutual fund see people pool the money and uh, they start investing in the, the company will be investing in different uh, company shares and if dividends comes it will add to the benefit of the members okay good next one uh, alm means what is the expansion a l m ALM means Asset Liability Management. See, each bank has got ALM committee that is only going through the details of what are the funds they have got, what are the funds they require, what is the interest they have to keep for interest rate they have to fix. All these things are decided by ALM. What is the expansion of? Very easy question. ATM. What is the expansion of ATM, automated teller machine? Many of us will write automatic teller machine. That is wrong. What is BIS? What is BIS in terms of international? What is the expansion of BIS? BIS, Bank of International Settlements, Bank of International Settlements. Good. Next one. What is meant by BOP in terms of country? Considering country as a whole, what is BOP? BOP means what? BOP in terms of country, balance of payment. In terms of country, balance of payment. This is another thing corresponding with uh, basal norms and also with banks. What is the expansion of CAR? What is the expansion of CAR? What is the expansion of CAR? Capital adequacy ratio this comes in terms of that uh, basal committee norms and all we saw that already this is a very easy question what is the expansion of cbs what is the expansion of cbs in terms of banking in terms of bank branches what is cbs c b s what is CBS? Correct. Core banking solution. Good, Jai Shri Firoz. Firoz, good. I am happy. What is the expansion of CIBIL? Sibyl. This you may not be able to write correctly. What is the expansion of Sibyl? What is the expansion of Civil, civil scores are very important. In fact, one boy got appointment in State Bank of India and he was worrying about his civil score because he has defaulted in, um, say, payment to bank. So he was thinking that his civil score may come down that may be objected by State Bank of India. Civil means what? Credit Information Bureau of India Limited. Credit Information Bureau of India Limited. In what way is it useful? The civil scores are useful when we go and borrow money from banks. Banks look into this score to decide about giving finance or not. Similarly, when people invest money in deposits with companies, they check up about the civil score, credit scores and all that. Okay, good. Next one is a very, very easy question. But Firoz will tell immediately what is CRR? What is CRR? Very easy for you. Come on. CRR. 
in terms of banking and now if the present rate is 4% what is crr correct cash reserve ratio what is cash reserve ratio this much of say if the bank has got 100 rupees de deposits then it has to keep 4 rupees as balance in its account with the reserve bank of india and if it defaults some penalties are being levied what is the expansion of ECB, very easy. In terms of companies, what is the expansion of ECB? I think you must know, Firoz, external commercial borrowings. Okay, then this is also very easy. What is the expansion of ECS? Ah, net demand and time liabilities. Good. External commercial borrowing. Very good. What is ECS? Very easy. What is ECS? Electronic clearing service. Not that Firoz will be knowing it. Um, Firoz, I should ask some difficult question to you. Firoz, you want me to ask some tough question to you? In terms of, um, yeah, Kotak Mahindra Bank has launched its first overseas branch in which country? Choice Kotak Mahindra Bank. Kotak Mahindra Bank has opened its first overseas branch. First overseas. Uh, branch it has opened overseas branch it has opened in which place i will give you choice um jay shri firoz i'll give you choice choice same uh, i will give you choice one china two japan three dubai what is the answer jay shri firoz give me Or I will make it only two choices. Japan, Dubai. Japan, Dubai. Don't know. The answer is Dubai. Answer is Dubai. Yeah. Next question. Which bank has introduced recently FD Health? A deposit scheme known as FD Health. Which bank has introduced? For your guidance, I may tell you, it is a leading private sector bank. Jai Shri Firoz. Could you understand which bank is it? If you want choice, I can give you Access Bank, ICICA Bank, HDFC Bank. Answer is ICICA Bank. Good. Mukesh, and next thing is Credit Saison India was in the news recently. Credit Saison India. It is a domestic subsidiary of Japanese financial services. Japanese financial services leader credit size on they have received a uh, say um, license for opening which type of company in india perhaps you may not know the answer i will give you the answer nbfc they have got nbfc okay next question this i think we have discussed IBA means what? Indian Banks Association. Who, who is its present chairman? Who is its present chairman? 
Indian Banks Association, who is the present chairman of IBA. Vishnu Prasad, how are you? Correct. Rajneesh Kumar of uh, Rajneesh Kumar of SBI he is the chairman of IBA, Indian Banks Association. Which bank? Which bank? So, uh, not bank. Which com um, housing finance company has a localized website? in six Indian languages. Six Indian languages. It has a um, localized website. Localized website. Which housing finance company is it? LIC HFL, then HDFC. Of these two, which is the answer? LIC HFL, then HDFC. Of these two, which is the answer? Answer is HDFC. Good. Okay. RBI has recently imposed one crore penalty on which private sector bank for non-compliance with the guidelines on promoter holding. Could you follow? RBI has imposed rupees one crore penalty on which private sector bank for non-compliance with the guidelines on promoter holding. I will give you choice. Access Bank, Bandhan Bank. Access Bank, Bandhan Bank. Axis Bank, Bandhan Bank. Correct. Answer is Bandhan Bank. Firoz, tell me where is the headquarters of Bandhan Bank? Where is the headquarters of Bandhan Bank? Bondon Bank. Bondon Bank headquarters is in which place? Kolkata. Correct. Apni Bolun, who is the chairman of, who is the founder of Bondon Bank? Who is the founder of Bondon Bank? Answer is Chandra Shekhar Ghosh. Chandra Shekhar Ghosh. Okay? Good. I'm just telling you some extra point, whatever I get. Which public sector company um, dealing with petroleum was awarded Maharatna status? Maharatna status. Which uh, um, petroleum company was given Maharatna status? It's because as a Maharatna, the board can now incur capital expenditure on purchase of new items for replacement without any monetary selling. The company is also free to enter into joint venture or strategic alliances. Firoz has given correctly. It is HPCL. Good, good, good. I am happy. Yeah. Um, MTNL, BSNL were in the news because they were being merged. Bharat Electronics signs MOU with which company for ammunition business? Bharat Electronics has signed an MOU with which company for ammunition business, Bharat Electronics Limited. They have signed a memorandum of understanding with uh, Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu Explosives Limited. A Tamil Nadu government undertaking 
for cooperation in the explosives segment bel a defense public sector unit public sector unit is investing for the upgradation of existing facilities and addition of new facilities good f a l corporation a part of canada based fairfax fairfax financial holdings they exited which insurance company recently they came out of which private sector insurance company the answer is icici lombard general insurance uh, firoz this is details regarding october that has come in december magazine of pratyogita kiran okay this is december magazine of pratyogita kiran uh, given in um, this is this october news oh jayshri just now completed lic how was it how, how did you write the exam tell me tell me i know you'll be very tired how did you write it how many questions could you answer firoz how um, what was the composition of general awareness paper how, what was the percentage of insurance how much percentage of insurance questions oh you are all vishnu prasad selected sba clerk congrats current affair little moderate insurance awareness did they ask insurance awareness how much was insurance awareness questions how many insurance awareness questions how many current affair questions nearly 10 insurance okay were you able to answer good current affair must be 20 or so static awareness how many questions 10 what are the static awareness questions they asked what are the static awareness questions they asked and you remember jay shri firoz could you remember some of the questions could you remember some of the questions no no static oh ho then what were the other questions 10 insurance then balance everything current affair everything current affair banking was also asked ibps po po or sbi clerk in long term process ibps po is certainly good vishnu prasad ibps po is certainly good banking too they asked oh oh good good that means static they omitted but they would have asked static banking questions like headquarters rates then chairman and all that do you remember the questions do you remember the question how many questions could you answer in all totally how many questions could you answer jay uh, firoz Firoz, oh, current affairs related to bank, one twenty. Okay, it's a good score. Let us hope you will succeed. God bless you. Excellent. Yeah, Fairfax Company. It has exited from ICICI. ICICA Lombard General Insurance Company. Okay, very good. I am just asking questions based on this uh, book. You know, they have given some information. From there, I am asking. Let me ask some static. I mean, static GK for our IBPS PL. IBPS main exam.
na Maharashtrian plateau is made up of which soil? Lava. Answer is lava. Kodai Kanal, the famous hill station of South India, is situated on which hills? The answer is Palni Hills. I am preparing for IBPSPO interview. How to prepare? Wait. Wait. I will give you. I will give you. Just a minute, please wait. IBPS PO. IBPS PO. Just go through this. This will give you fairly good idea. I have given links for materials. Please go through this. This is for IBPS PO interview guidance. You just go through that. The links given and also all the materials prepare and you can go to my blog wherein a number of blogs are there on interview. You can go through that also. That will help you. Vishnu Prasad is from which state? Tamil Nadu. Vishnu Prasad, Tamil Nadu. In the, in the, in the state, in the pace of the. Kiss state say aap baat karte hai. Tamil Nadu only. Very good. Best wishes. You, are, you stay in Chennai or outside? You stay in Chennai or outside? Vishnu Prasad. Okay, now let me ask some other question. The country to the east of the Andaman Nicobar Islands is what is that country named? What is the name of the country east of Andaman Nicobar Islands? The answer is Nayanraj Tanti, hello. Answer is Indonesia. Indonesia. Indian Standard Meridian passes through the states of UP, MP, Orissa, and which other state? Indian Standard Meridian passes through passes through UP, MP, then Orissa, and which state? Answer is, come on, give me, give me, which state? UP, MP, Orissa, and which state? Answer is AP. Andhra Pradesh. Good. Which Union Territory of India has largest area? Union, largest Union Territory. Which is the Union Territory having largest area? Answer is Puducherry. Or Pondicherry. Puducherry or Pondicherry is the largest union territory, bigger than Delhi. In which state is Guru Shikar Peak? Guru Shikar Peak located in which state? Choice Bihar, Rajasthan, Maharashtra. Answer I have given, sorry. Rajasthan is the answer. Shayok, S-H-Y-O-K, is a tributary of which river? Tributary of which river? Indus, Indus River. Good. Indus River.
the paintings of ajantas depict the stories of which stories the paintings of ajanta ajanta paintings they depict uh, the stories of which stories answer is jatakas answer is jatakas who is the author of geeta gobind geeta gobind who is the author of geeta gobind it is jayadeva jayadeva the mighty gateways found at the temples of south india are called what mighty gateways found at the temples of south india are called what answer is gopurams answer is gopurams painting in the mogal period was at its prime during the rule of jahangir okay sitar was invented by whom sitar was invented by whom amir kuzro madhu kaluguri good afternoon good afternoon acha you wrote lic exam many of you would have written lic exams yeah sitar was invented by amir kuzro super question ba natya shastra natya shastra was written by whom natya shastra was written by whom answer is bharat muni it is a, somewhere somewhere it is called bharatanatyam also good then some other economy oriented question fiscal policy in india is formulated by which ministry fiscal policy in india is formulated by the finance ministry national income is generated from what national income is generated from any in any money making activity any money making activity it is resulting in what is that national income money supply is regulated by which organization all of you know rbi the present indian monetary system is based on what the present indian monetary system is based on minimum a reserve system minimum a reserve system okay these are all economics oriented question which public sector bank has the largest number of branches in foreign countries answer is bank of baroda bank rate is decided by obviously rbi regional rural banks rrbs are sponsored by public sector banks the apex institution which handles refinance for agriculture and rural development in india is what apex institution which handles a refinance for agriculture and rural development is nabard good excellent thank you friends 
I was with you for 40 minutes. Thank you so much. I have given you more than 50 to 60 uh, current, um, say current affair, come static GK question. This will be of use for your IBPS clerks. Maybe we will meet tonight sometime afterwards. Thank you. Best wishes.